It's out with the water and in with the antifreeze. It's time to winterize. We need to clean it out, drain it out, and dump it out. Then we need to put on the winter coat and protect the tires. So stay tuned, trailer traveling is coming up next. So right now, I'm filling my water. They bleached it and dumped it. Uh, the last campsite that we stayed at had a boil water advisory, and then as soon as that's done, we're gonna do the antifreeze. I drain the hot water tank, but I'm refilling it just to clean it. Uh, I'll show you the anode after. It's in really bad shape considering it's a brand new trailer. Uh, I don't feel like getting wet, so we're gonna. The thing I don't understand is why to turn the cold water on go this way, to turn the hot water on go the other way. Doesn't make any sense to me. We got the miser. I'm not sure if there is any water left in the freshwater tank because I did open it to drain it. Sounds like there may still be some in it. So I'm gonna circulate it a bit. Try to empty out the lines. And there's still quite a bit of water in here. I don't know what's going on here. See a bit of water on the lines here. I'm sure you don't want to see inside my black tank. Okay, so that sounds like it's drained pretty good. It sounds like it's drained pretty good. Let's go see what else we can drain. Still a bit of water in the kitchen. I guess is even though, even though I've taken what I can out of the hot water tank, that's still going to be under pressure. So I'm going to set up this so that you can watch me get wet. Maybe I should watch a YouTube video because I'm very concerned about that spilling everywhere. Okay, so I started off with the outside shower because it's the furthest one. Um, it's the furthest line from the pump. Okay, so the hot water line is blasting out. You know what? Get the lines are now. to make sure. So that okay. This one's good. This one's good. Everything looks 
good so far. I'm thinking the hot water too. So we're good. We'll give all this a wipe after and get rid of all the pink. So far, so good. Let's go check that filter in the back. Oh, it looks like that's starting to fill up with the antifreeze. I'm not sure how happy I am with that. Anyway. Not say any freeze, but I do have another jug, so let's go rinse some of the taps inside. So one thing I totally forgot was my low point drains. So I'm gonna go drain those now. Maybe that will empty out the filter. struggled with that filter. I think it was just too tight from the factory. I was afraid to spill it or break it, but now we know. Hopefully it will come off easier next time. thing that I could do is to, well, it'll probably fill with antifreeze when I put it back in. Let's do that. I'm not going to put it as tight as they had it because I will need to open it again in the spring to put the filter in. Okay, let's go turn the water.
so tightening it up fixed the leak. Should definitely be some kind of a bypass on this, so it's a pretty stupid system. Let's see, look at the wood back there. Looks like at some point there was some water back here. Okay, so I think that's going to be about it for, for the plumbing system. I think we're good to go. And all this is small. Lots of pink. So a lot of people would say that I'm wasting a lot of this. Um, I got that 8 liter jug at Walmart for $11.97 I think. I bought two of them. Um, so it's $24 for a little bit of insurance. I think that's uh, definitely don't care if I waste it for $24. I'm sure that my system is not going to freeze this winter and that it's still going to work next year. Nothing's going to be busted or broken or or anything so I think that that's okay with the antifreeze in it's time to dump the tanks let's hit the road Better gas up. I like this Ultramar, it usually has pretty good braces. side of this hill there's the uh, water treatment. It smells pretty bad here. <laughs> water treatment facility all along here. But it's a nice free place to dump the trailer, but it's getting late. 
need to get this show on the road. Tanks are empty. Time for storage. So it's six o'clock. You can see it's almost dark out, um, but we're still going to have to find a way to get this trailer back into storage. Um, my battery died on the on the Osmo, so. Um, plugged in now, so we should be good. Uh, but now we're going to cut through Limoges. Uh, not sure what's going on with the fire over here, but anyways. Um, I just have a bonfire that's going to wear it. Okay. So let's, uh, we're going to take Rockdale all the way. Backed in by myself, probably mostly in the dark. Sounds like fun. Oh, it's empty. The biggest part of uh, the biggest part of winterization is done. The water is completely out of it. The antifreeze is completely into it. I'm going to dump some more into the tanks. Um, just so that the tanks have some in there in case all the water didn't come out. That dump station was nasty. There was there was stuff all over the uh, stuff all over the uh, the concrete pad, and I'm not sure if it was the the the, the dump itself, um, like the the holding tank where I was dumping, or if it was the, the, the water processing plant behind it, uh, it smelled bad. It smelled very bad. So, uh, note to self, good place to dump, but it doesn't smell bad. died so um, so 
So I poured, I poured antifreeze down here into the kitchen sink. Um, I'm just gonna clean up a bit. So that should put antifreeze into the, into the gray tank. Sorry, bad habit of getting too close. I'm sure nobody wants to see that. Um, so now there's antifreeze in the gray. There's my hand there. Um, and you saw me put, uh, I think you saw me, depends on when the Osmo died. Uh, you saw me put it in the black. So that is now full. Or not full, but uh, protected. Uh, hopefully it's not full because we just dumped it, so it shouldn't be full. I need both hands. So I'm just going to put that down. I also put in um, some RV Digest during the winter. If there's anything left in there, we did flush the tanks, so it should be good. But just in case it's in there, if there's anything else, maybe it can digest it over the winter. I don't know. I don't know if it'll work with the antifreeze. And it's getting very dark. I think I got here just in time. I'm looking forward to going home. What the hell is that? I'm looking forward to going home. Fridge. The fridge, I always leave it open a, a crack here so that it doesn't smell or anything. We just got to make sure that we close it before we drive again. And I think that's it. We have to get the GoPro off the roof and we're done. Okay, so our new travel trailer cover came in from Adco. Well, this one, we measured the trailer as per their website uh, to be 21 and a half feet. And so we ordered this model is supposed to be between 22 feet one inch to 24 feet I'm hoping to get it over the tire on the back but if I can't I can't and so we're gonna try and go set this up right away so I am here I'm at the trailer and we're gonna try and put the cover on today unfortunately I am by myself and I've never put the cover on before so um and I don't have very much time to do it uh, somebody told us that they're calling for snow this week. I haven't actually checked the weather forecast, but um, I definitely want to get the cover on before the snow. Um, so let's see what we can do in an hour and a half. All right, wish me luck. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use these noodles to cover up. We've got our spouts. So we're going to cover up these gutter spots first. There we go. Completely covered. Okay, let's go to the other side. Okay. So all four of them are up now. Now have a look. And all four are up and ready to go. So now I've got to figure out this turn. 
go and roll it, get it set up to bring it up on the roof by myself. Okay, so I did close the door of the RV and we're going to unbox this. Um, I haven't had it on the package yet, so I have opened it, but I haven't looked at it yet. It's supposed to come with a little cover, so. Is even on. I feel like it's on the water. Okay, so we're really gonna have to pull this thing over. I do with the new house is we'll put them over the solar of the panel. Of course, I'm gonna recommend this, but it will help dissipate the weight of the snow, spread it out a little more evenly. So we wanna make sure I don't crack my panel. Vent at the top is completely open. Oh, the mice will have some place to go and I won't get my trailer. So I guess that's okay. This was supposed to come with wheel covers and I don't see any, so I'm gonna have to order some of those. And I'm gonna need to watch the video to see what's next because I know it said something about corner cinching and there are no corner cinches. So I'm guessing the Next. Well, it talks about a slip seam adjustment along the bottom, but I have yet to locate it, so I'm just trying to tighten everything up on the first. And then we're going to do the, uh, the buckles underneath. I managed to get on in under half an hour, so not too bad. Got about an hour left. Okay, I gotta pull. Okay. 
as you may or may not have seen on my hand. So I'm going to try and get up underneath it. to see uh, what can be done about that. So that's the next job. So we'll try that and then run to the underneath one. I'm inside the cover amp. I'm to determined to get these pool noodles up there. I'm going to need both hands. But one thing I noticed is it's hot in here. It's really hot. So I hope that this is not going to hold moisture. Because you can really feel it. I need both hands. Sorry, you're going to have to go back in my box. So, I think it's going to need some snow to weight it down. Because right now, I have my full noodles in place, but it's pretty roomy in here and the wind blows quite a bit, so. At least not just blowing and rubbing, and I'm just gonna have no uh, no cover left eventually. The wind will just rip it to shreds. I don't know. I hope not. We'll find out. So, in terms of cinch covers, what I found was this, but it doesn't doesn't really do a whole lot of that. Or the, I did have to climb underneath to grab these. And I did see a vent down by the black water tank that I never noticed before. So I am going to have to go and check that out and see if uh, there's anything the mites can get into. I have to put some steel wool or something. So that is my next job. So I got some steel wool. Just go underneath and see what's going on. And then we'll put out the rest of the stripes or straps here. Actually, this one. This going on because I'll be in there anyway, so I can throw it across while I'm under there. Oh, yeah, that's good. Cool. could get in there. Couldn't quite have the rest of it's very very well sealed but I don't know if I should put something in there. Or even how I would put something in there. I think it's just a vent uh, to make sure that this skirt airs out a little bit. in there. I'm not sure how it would climb up to here anyways. So I'm just going to leave it.
for ten. I would never be able to get in here. You'd have to disconnect another strap. What's that? Not sure what these Velcro straps are for inside. Well, good morning, everybody. Um, we are we're back at the trailer. Um, we're here to check, make sure that everything is good. But the wheel covers finally came in. Um, we had, uh, I ordered wheel covers um, that were supposed to fit up to a 21 inch wheel. Um, I thought that was the rim. My bad, I did not measure correctly. Um, the trailer has, uh, 205 70R 14 tires so the 21s did not fit so we ordered something that will fit up to a 26 inch uh, because this tire size should be a 25 uh, 25.3 I think is what we measured so um, they should fit the DGI is dead I thought it was charged but it's not so you're just gonna get phone video today um, and of course everything that we've ordered i'll have links i'll have links down below so you can check out what we got um but yeah let's get these tire covers on so here they are four pack of gray 23 to 25 and three quarters So these are very similar to the, the old white ones that I used to have for the uh, for the Jayco. So we're going to try them out and uh, we'll try one out and see if it fits and then we'll put on the rest. Okay, and that went on pretty good if you know anything about tire covers. They're just held on with elastics at the back. They just go over the tire and they're held on with elastics. Check underneath, no sign of pests or anything yet. Everything looks good. Okay, so let's get the other three on. That looks good. I don't think anything is rubbing or ripping. This may be our last trip out here for a bit. The only thing I didn't do that I wanted to do was I wanted to bring some mothballs. I usually put mothballs on the tires just to keep the mice off them, but I don't think that they are effective after a while. Um, I think that once they, they sit, they lose their potency. Um, inside the trailer, we have bounce sheets. I've got steel wool in high traffic areas. Um, so that should really slow things down. But uh, 
Not sure about the mothballs. I want to put them, but I may come back. We'll see. We'll see. But for now, I think the winterization is complete. And I'll post this. And then in the spring, we'll see how it fared.